Okay then guys, welcome to a brand new episode here. Robbie Earnshaw is not happy. He wants more money. Jesus, he wants a lot more money. To be fair... Oh, he wants a minimum fee release clause. I'll put in 3.1. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't see the point in changing this team here because quite frankly it has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is just that Earnshaw bit and he legs back as well. Notice that. So, probably take Fortune, put leg back on. I know Madeira's on the bench, but Paver did f fantastically well in that in that other game. So, oh, one nil down already. Two minutes. Bloody hell, two nil down. Considering we didn't look and see the goal away from home in that last game. Um, yeah, Bolland's not playing that well. Might have to bring Andy Leg on for Bolland. Yeah, just to control that midfield. If he can, that is. Right, I'm going to bring my deer on. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for three. I'm going to go for three up front. Um, so that means I'm going to take Kavanaugh off. I'm going to shove those two there. Let's just go for it. We've got nothing to lose. We may as well just fucking shove them all up front. See if one of them can just nick a goal. Right, it's game on, isn't it? Nope, we can't. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's devastating. Oh, and a bloody injury as well. Alright, now we've got to bring him down. We'll put him in attacking mid. Yeah, it was quite that was quite poor. Um oof. To be fair, though, there's not that much in it when you when you look at the league. Even though you can fall down a fair amount of places, um, it's never a true reflection because one victory can make a massive difference. I mean, we've got Notts County now in four days at home. They're normally quite a big club county. Um, let's have a look. Where are they? Oh, just below us. Got a big stadium county, 20,000 all seater. Bins that stadium, good stadium. <coughs> um, yeah, let's see how we get on. Okay, paper. So Madeira, definitely. No mess in here. A part of me's thinking, I'm gonna shove Earnshaw up front, you know. I wanna see what I wanna see what they can do together. It's difficult because playing two up front isn't normally the best thing to do. <clears throat> With Championship Manager, it seems to be a case of either one up front or three up front works. There we go. He scored a goal, though, Earnshaw. Fair play. 11,000. That's a good attendance. That is a very, very good attendance, that. We've got Port Vale coming up. Where are they? Yeah, they've only won one game at the minute. We need to keep this win, though. <clears throat> See, Madeira, even though he's playing a six, he's always there. <clears throat> and he can always possibly get a goal, and that's the thing with Madeira. Earnshaw's doing well, though. Oh, don't, don't, don't mess this up. Get another goal, please. When I said get another goal, I didn't mean county to get another goal. Fuck me. Oh, okay. 2-2. Two, two. That wasn't a good result. Let's be honest. That was poor, that. Um. I've got to beat Port Vale. I've got two home games after that, though. Pasco set for Charles. God, as if he's bloody gone. Right, he signed a new contract. That's okay. I mean, it is a minimum of 3.1, but if someone came in for 3.1 mil, that would do the books nicely. It would. It's not like we haven't got enough strikers at the moment with Paver and Madeira in there. Right. These guys are... Tw oh, no. As if he's injured for two months. Gabadon, get him in. It's time for him to show us what he can do, Gabadon. Okay, Kavanaugh's a bit tired. He's wanted Miami. That's 
weird. Ian Wone. God, you remember him? Forrest. Bloody hell. I always remember getting him. You know in those little um, sticker books that you had? 95, 96 season. God, they were the days they were. Used to remember him in his uh, Nottingham Forest kit, Ian Wone. Classic. Leave a comment below on anyone that you can remember. I remember Cantona as well. He was a classic. Slick back hair in the United. When you used to get him, God, he was like the holy grail to get Cantona back in the day. I remember I had to swap about five players just to get him from this lad at school. <clears throat> I wanted him that bad. I actually can't remember who I swapped for him. I think, like, because everyone wanted, like, Giggsy and stuff. Fucking 2-1 down here. Everyone wanted, like, Giggsy and stuff like that. Um, like, United players. Come on now. We've got to get a goal here. Oh, this isn't looking good. Right. I think... We have to get back to the drawing board in terms of the formation with this. Right, let me let me clear this. Now, I'm going to say I'm going to put them midfields, Duff and Victory. Um. This is hard, you know, this is this is hard to think of. You know. Don't ask me what I'm doing at this moment. Don't ask me. I'm just looking at this now, trying to figure out. <clears throat> the thing is, we do have wingers. This 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 sounds like a mad mad formation to play. It really does. Right, bear with me. Right, Thorn. Oh, he's coming for Thorn. Oh, that's a good. That's a good bid. That is it all in one go. Oh, ten. Oh, ten international appearances. Never gonna play, is he? Cheeky little bastards. Absolutely not, pal. Get it in there. Negotiate. Sandy Thompson, Carlisle reserves. Yeah, yeah, he can go. He's he's just he's doing nothing. He's on a grand. His contract's coming up in O two. Um, he wants a new con. Oh, he's not too bad. Jesus, that's a lot to give him though. Right, let me try this formation. Yeah, he can go thirty grand. Oh, I don't know whether that is the right call. Let me have a look here. Fingers, you've obviously got your five three two, haven't you? Five three two attacking. Right, I'm gonna go for five three two attacking. I'm gonna go with that. I think I think the other one that I did there was a bit too extreme to defend. Oh, they are actually giving 600 grand for him. That is a good bit of business. And that is six grand off the budget as well. So he's getting six grand a week. That is good. They're Division 3 hold. They're spending big. They are spending really big. Wow. Is he going to be a star player now? Yeah. That's good. That's a really, really good bit of business for us. That takes a lot off the budget. <clears throat> um, right, let me have a look at this now. Neil Alexander. Let's get the usuals in. Prior, Gabidon, Victory, Duff. Um, now you get your two central mids. Let's get Andy Leg in that central mid. Um, Kavanaugh in that central mid. Right, attacking mid. Now, I'm, I'm, we've got Bowen. Bowen's probably your best one there, isn't he? And then you've got Earnshaw Madeira. This guy can go on the reserves. I don't see the point in him. That guy can go on the reserves. Don't see the point in him. It's a shame about Leo Fortune West. Do you know? 
It is a shame. I thought he'd actually be quite a good player on this. But he's let himself down today. He can go on the bench though. What's in Poland? Right, okay. Right. Let let's try let's try this now. <clears throat> I think we've got two home games in a row. I mean, ideally, you need six points from these two home games to get back into that playoff uh, running. That's a good start. Get in. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> oh, attendances have gone down there. That's a bit crap, isn't it? It's a bit crap. And a bury at bottom. I don't know why I'm getting that excited, to be honest with you, at the bottom. But if you look at that now, 11 point, we're four points off with a game in hand, actually, from that playoff position. So this league, it, it's, you know what I mean? It's not a true reflection. Wherever you are in the league, you could be 16th or 17th, but you'd still only be four points off the playoff. So you put a little run together and you're back in those playoff positions. But fucking hell, if they get a goal here now, we're in big trouble. Get in, Earnshaw. Right. Oh, why why are they scoring that? The thing is, look how well we're playing. Look at those nines and eights. Get in. Do you know what? If we would have got beat with those scores there, I would have been raging. Because that was a fantastic team performance, that... That was really good. Right, Huddersfield. They're a different gravy. They're 11th. We could, in fact, you know, we can overtake them there, which would be really good for us. So that's a massive, massive game. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Come back for the next game against Huddersfield, and we'll see how we get on, if we can push on into those playoff positions. I'll see you guys later.